As temperatures drop, City Union Mission is helping more homeless people looking for a warm place to stay. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel is live at the Mission this midday. And Ray, I imagine they're full or getting full for sure. Absolutely, Cynthia. You know, let me tell you, earlier we were in the day room and there were several people there. Now, a lot of the men have made their way into chapel and we are here with um, Executive Director Dan Doty. And, you know, Dan, tell me a little bit about um, capacity right now. You were expecting more. Yes, uh, we have more room anyway, and with the cold, we were really thinking we would probably be pretty full, but we, we still have another 100 beds and even extra mattresses that we can put in overflow areas here in the men's shelter. So, But, uh, you know, some of the we've got an increase in our long-term program and, and a special facility for men with mental health and physical handicaps, so that's where some of the, the men are. But we, we still have more room here for if people, if men in particular, need a place of shelter. And something you touched on earlier, you talked a little bit about the nurses, and I mean, especially with these temperatures, I mean, how critical is their role? Yeah, I, mean, we, I haven't heard of any frostbite issues yet, but that's, that's pretty common, so we'll see. But the, the nurses are, are really sought after on days like this because there's a lot of flu that goes around and colds, and in a, an environment where you've got a lot of people all in one location, they spread illnesses pretty easily. So... We're grateful for our nurses. Well, Dan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. I appreciate it. Um, and as you can hear and see, it's very busy here at City Union Mission. So definitely um, thinking of those folks just staying warm this time of day. Live in Kansas City, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News.